Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I figured I would just come and try on a few pieces that I um, picked up. They're not all recent pieces. Some of these pieces were picked up probably about two, three months ago. But I figured I would come on here, um, do a little try on haul, show you guys what I have been purchasing recently and see um, what you guys' thoughts are. Once again, I am about five foot 11, a little taller, a little closer to the six foot, um, six foot mark, but I'm 5'11", and I am about 150 pounds. And the first um, the first try on, the first pair of pants that I'm trying on are these, and they are from a company called Alloy Apparel. I don't see a lot of YouTubers um, looking into um, Alloy Apparel, but I have purchased a few pieces from them. Not only just jeans, they, um, they specialize in 36s and 38s. So if you're a tall girl and you want, you know, you want your, your pants to hit the floor, like, like I said, I am 5'11", closer to 6 foot, and look, I am flat footed, but I can wear these with heels. So, um, the material is a little bit thin, but I love the way it fits, um, and they're kind of like the Fashion Nova um, on the sizing scale, so you would have to know your you would have to know your size. Um, like it's not like a 28, a 30. Um, these are actually a size seven in alloy apparel. You can check them out. Um, I, I believe a seven is like comparable to a six US. So, um, but don't quote me on that. But um, here is how they fit. And you guys can see the length. And I love them. I find that these are uh, a fun summer jean if this is your look, if you're into the bell bottom look. I don't wear them often, but when I do wear them, I get tons of compliments and um, you should probably check them out. Okay, the next pair of jeans that I have on is surprisingly another, um, another company that a lot of YouTubers don't really like talk about, a lot of tall YouTubers don't talk about. And I know H&M had some troubles in the past, but their jeans fit, so. Um, yeah, these are a size 28, 34, and like I said, I'm almost six foot tall, and I have extra, extra length on these, and these are from H&M, and honestly, I bought these jeans for $10 on sale, so if you're on a budget, and you're looking for some jeans that fit right, they have a little bit of stretch to them, you know how H&M jeans fit, sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't, but these fit perfectly on me. Again, they're a size 28, length 34, um, if you're in the 5'11", 5'10", 5'11", range, these jeans will fit you. If you are a little bit taller, you might want to go with Alloy Apparel or ASOS or someone who carries 36s and 38s. But here is how they fit. Again, if you're looking for an affordable jean option, H&M is a great choice for us tall girls. What more can I say? I love them. Hope you guys do too. Let me know your thoughts. The next pair of pants I have for you guys are not actually jeans. They are a crepe pant from Boohoo. And I bought them for $12 on sale. They have these little cute pockets. They're high-waisted. They're a little snug. They fit almost exactly to the ankle, so they're almost too short, but I can work with them. The only problem I have with these is that they are paper thin. And if any of you guys have like ordered anything from Boohoo, you know that it's a hit or miss and the quality is not like 100%, but um, the fit is absolutely amazing. Um, these are a size six tall and I'll link the description because I got these, um, I got these a, a couple of weeks ago. So I'll link the description below. They're about $12. They were $12 a few weeks ago. They might be like 15 now, but I don't think you're going to pay any more than $15 worth. Um, they're very stretchy. So I think you can get away with a size smaller, but I am a true six and this is a six and they fit pretty well. So if you're like, you got a little bit of hips and you got a little bit of curves. You might want to stay true to size. Like I said, my only my only negative about these pants are that they're just like paper thin. Like you can't wear them in the winter time. You can barely wear them in the summer. But like they are cute, but they're just very thin. I'll do a 360 again. And there you are. Okay, so 
the next two jeans I'm going to try on are the Covenant ASOS Ridley jeans. I got them in two colors. I actually purchased this pair, the black pair, um, probably about four or five months ago, and um, I purchased the white pair as well. Um, fairly recently, probably about two weeks ago. I got both um, too large. So this um, is actually a 20, no, a size 30, 34, and the 30 was actually way too big for me. So um, I had to go and get them, get it taken in. But if any of you guys are familiar with ASOS, the really jeans sell out like hotcakes. So I just figured I would just go ahead and take my chances with the 30 and get these taken in. They fit like a glove. As you can see, they almost fit the length of the Boohoo jeans because they are a 34 and they didn't have the 36. So I got the 34, which, I mean, I like them. They fit right to the ankle, as you guys can see. They fit right to the ankle. Um, like I said, I got them taken in, but you guys be the judge. You know, I don't see a lot of YouTubers, um, tall YouTubers, um, trying on the ASOS Ridley jeans. But this is how they fit. They're one of my favorite black jeans. So here's a 360 of the jean again. They definitely have a stretch to them. So if you can go a size down, go a size down. But they're so finicky with their sizes that sometimes you'll go a size down and it'll be too super tight because I have gotten a 27 in the past and I couldn't even get my leg into them. So I would recommend going up and getting them taken in. It costs like $15 to get these taken in. So let me know your thoughts about them. I will come back and try on the white pair that I got in a size 36, and you guys can see, see the difference. Here is the really jean in a 3036. So remember the, the black ones that I just tried on, they were a 3034. This is the 3036. Again, I got these taken in as well because they didn't have the 28s because everyone's a size 28 apparently, and so they never have my size. But you can tell the difference. So these jeans have a little bit more length. You can't really tell that they're scrunching up a little bit. So if you're on the taller side, you definitely need a 36. The stretch on them is good. They feel great to the body. And I forgot to mention the price point is about $30, $38. And I got a pair of Fashion Over jeans. I did a Fashion Over jean haul prior. And Fashion Over jeans are actually more expensive than the ASOS Really jeans, but the ASOS Really jeans are 10 times better quality wise. So if you want to save your money and get some jeans that actually fit right, go with the ASOS, spend, spend the money. It's not even actually that expensive, I mean, considering considering that some people pay over $200 for jeans. I paid $38 for these. I paid $15 to get them taken in, but if you want to stock the site and not have to pay the extra $15 and get your, get your actual size, I would recommend that, but I was pressed. <laughs> so I just went ahead and bought these and got them taken in. Let me do a 360 for you guys. Clearly one of my favorite summer jeans. They fit like a glove. I love them. I'll probably buy like five more different styles in ASOS jeans. Like I like the crop ones. I like the uh, the ripped ones. I like all of their, their, their jeans, but they just, they just sell out so quickly. But anyway, that is the end of my mini tall girl summer jean haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.